Hi there, I'm Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice. Hope you're having a great Friday afternoon. We have been dodging quite a few thunderstorms today. You probably got wet at your house. If you haven't yet, you will later this evening. Just a lot of rain on the radar display. Getting a lot of pictures in, too, from some of our weather watchers and some of our viewers. Look at that shelf cloud. That is... Uh, from Jasper from Walker County earlier this afternoon had one almost identical to that moved through Coleman County by the way if you ever want to submit a picture to us it's real easy you can do that on the Fox 6 weather app or you can do it the old-fashioned way via email pics pix at wbrc.com never put yourself in any danger doing that but if you can safely get a picture we'd love to see it and share it on TV there's a look at our watches and warnings seeing some flood warnings in effect for the northern portion of the state even southern portions of Coleman County some localized flooding there. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect this evening until 7 p.m. You can see why. Look at the uh, 419 radar view uh, this afternoon. Quite a bit of rain out there. Everything on radar sliding off to the southeast. The main threat today is going to be some damaging winds, hail, and lightning. Also, uh, something that we're looking at here, incredible amount of instability, but with the lack of wind shear, we're not seeing really any storms out there that are rotating. We're seeing a lot of storms capable of producing some straight line winds, very high winds producing uh, anything from 50 to 60 mile per hour winds at the surface. So uh, pretty significant out there. Uh, some areas we've possibly even had higher winds than that. And Calhoun County had some reports uh, near White Plains of a building that was destroyed from some active weather earlier. Here's a look at our computer forecast model. 7.30 tonight, still some active weather. But then things start to calm down quite a bit during the overnight. Most of the rain will be gone. Again, like yesterday, forecast models not doing the best job handling this setup, but it at least gives us some idea that the morning's generally dry, and then during the afternoon, spotty showers and thunderstorms again develop. If you notice anything about tomorrow's forecast, a lower chance of rain with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s during the afternoon. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next three days. 87 degrees for your Saturday, 89 on Sunday, a little bit better coverage of rain and storms. Monday, 30% chance of rain. Scattered storms Tuesday and Wednesday, and then another round of showers, a little bit more widespread as we get into Thursday. There's our weekend forecast. Some morning sunshine tomorrow, afternoon storms, 89 on Sunday, probably a little bit hotter with more widespread rain. That's your weather update. You found us on the line here on our weather blog. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online here on Fox 6 News. We'll see you a bit later.